There's a war brewing in Utah, not over politics or COVID. This battle now is all about cookies, flour, sugar, and sprinkles. The controversy has been going on for months, but now there's some serious dough flying around. CNBC's Andrea Day has that story. Crumble Cookies is suing Crave Cookies and Dirty Dough. Utah's cookie war getting a lot of attention on social media. Cookies really worth suing over? It all started back in May when Crumble Cookies hit Dirty Dough and Crave with lawsuits, claiming in part that the two brands' packaging, decor, and presentation is confusingly similar to Crumble's. Our branding is black and gold. Theirs is pink and black. Crumble's logo is a chef hat or a chef wearing a hat. Ours is two overlapping cookies. I don't really see any confusion at all. I think most people can tell just fine that we don't look anything alike. We sat down with the founders of Dirty Dough and Crave Cookies, both telling CNBC they think the claims are half-baked. Just imagine pizza companies doing this to each other, right? Like sending pictures of a pepperoni pizza, putting them in a lawsuit and say, look, your pepperoni pizza looks Mighty similar to mine. Crumble co-founders Jason McGowan and Sawyer Hemsley sat down with CNBC last year to chat about their booming business. I have to pinch myself every day because we talk about sprinkles over the conference table. But when we reached out about the lawsuits, they declined our request for an interview, instead sending this statement by email. Crumble has taken legal action against two companies for trade dress and trademark infringement one of which has stolen Crumble recipes and trade secrets. Did you steal Crumble's cookie recipes? No, just look at our cookie. Again, you can't get a more different product. You can taste it, and it's so much different. Well, look how absurd this is. Diane Finguera Ducharme is a practicing trademark attorney in New York City with no connection to this case. Crumble came up with a great idea. A whole business model, which are rotating cookies each week, delivering them warm in a box that fits the cookies snugly. The problem for Crumble is that an idea is not protected by intellectual property law. So could the case go to a jury? It could be dismissed by showing a judge that, as a matter of law, these marks don't look alike. And if the marks don't look alike, that's where the cookie crumbles. And both cookie makers being sued tell me that social media around the cookie wars has been great for business. Crave sales jumped 50 percent and dirty dough sales doubled since being sued. Back to you.